Welcome to A Night at Home. I'm Ashlyn Lene. Thank you for joining me tonight. We will be making a classic cocktail called the Old Fashioned. This is a whiskey-based drink. And if you're not a huge fan of whiskey, uh, this is a nice little go-to. But if it's your first time trying whiskey, it can be a little strong for you. But we'll solve that with a little optional garnish. Uh, so we'll be using Four Roses today, the small batch bourbon. This is a very affordable, it's around the $30 range, affordable uh, whiskey, small batch. Uh, tends to be a little smoother in my opinion. Uh, very simple ingredients for this cocktail. This will be the only base liquor. We'll also be using a couple dashes of aromatic bitters and a teaspoon of Demerara syrup. And to garnish, we'll be using an orange and a lemon peel as well as Maraschino cherries. This is optional. These cherries are a little pricey. However, if again, if you're not huge on whiskey and it's your first time trying, could be a little strong, but this adds as a nice little dessert at the end. So let's get into it. So we'll typically, uh, instead of uh, the syrup, the original recipe calls for a cube sugar. Again, this cocktail has been around since the 1800s, 1865 to be specific. Uh, but because I was being a little lazy, I decided to do the syrup mix. Uh, you can make this yourself. I just was a little bit closer to a liquor store to grab this instead of going to a grocery store for the actual uh, sugar. So one teaspoon of the Demerara sugar. If you do decide to do the cube, uh, you would just drop that cube in with uh, a couple of drops of water to dissolve it or you can also drown it in the uh, aromatic bitters. But since we're doing uh, the syrup, there's no need to wait on that or muddle it. Uh, so we'll next do uh, two to three dashes of the aromatic bitters. So one, two, three, a little more. I'm a fan of bitters, so I kind of do my own thing there. Uh, next, you want to add a large ice cube. Now these cubes can be made with the tray uh, you can get those trays off Amazon or any other uh, local liquor store. Um, also, if you don't have those trays, don't stress it. Just get a few ice cubes, um, enough to kind of make the size of a block. Uh, you're going to do two ounces of the bourbon. If you like it a little bit stronger, you can also use rye whiskey. But I'm a bourbon fan. So from there, Oops, you're gonna do a little stir. Stir that for a few seconds to get that the bitters and the syrup all mixed. All right, so next, um, if I didn't mention it earlier, I would have a flame nearby. This is optional as well, but this is to extract the oils from the orange and the lemon peel. So you just wanna take your lighter and just kinda Flame that a little bit just to get it heated. Uh, you don't have to do it to the point it burns unless you like a little smoky flavor. So that should be enough. And I'm just gonna drop those in here. And I'm gonna add my cherries. And there you have it guys, the old fashioned cocktail. Thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you enjoy this. If you're having a date over, uh, this is actually a really, really good cocktail that's good for both, I would say, yourself, a date, or anyone that enjoys whiskey. Uh, let me know what you think, try it out. The next variation of an old fashioned that I will be making is banana old fashioned. That's another one of my favorites. Uh, I love to go to different restaurants and try their version of an old fashioned. So if you're ever at a, a restaurant this week or in the future, Try it out and try it at home and let me know what you think. Have a great night.